Good morning. Welcome to day eight on our Longbridge rear extension. Today we are going to be ringing up the corners of our superstructure. Uh, so that is the, uh, the brickwork above dam, which leads up to the wall plate. We're going to do this corner first. We're going to be doing this corner and then we're going to be running this in. So the goal for today will be to get this up as high as possible. And then if we've got a bit of time, we will come around here and we'll do the same over here and see if we can get some of these up. Now because we've got the neighbour's wall here, what we're going to do is we're going to use the rest of our engineering brick to continue building up and then we'll use the normal facing brick to come around the corner here. So what you see will be the facing brick matching the existing building. But what I can't be seen will be the engineering brick down here because I don't like to waste materials. So we're going to use up the last hundred engineering and then we'll build up the facing brick on the top. So we'll set up the time lapse and we can watch this a bit more. gazebo down it's meant to be sunny for at least the next two weeks we took the gazebo down and two minutes later it's raining so we're gonna have to cover up wait for it to finish raining and then see if we can crack on so the rain has just stopped it has been raining all day it's now two o'clock and all we've managed to do is get this corner and this corner up so another end stopped we're going to run this in before the end of the day and then hopefully we'll get some better weather tomorrow Good morning, we are on day nine. Yesterday was a bit of a write-off because it was raining. So we only got about three or four hours worth of brick laid in, but we still got a little bit done. Today, on the other hand, is bright blue skies, sunshine. So we've got no rain that's gonna interrupt us today. So it's the uh, Jubilee bank holiday. So the lads are off, it's just me that's in. I'm gonna be doing a bit of brick laying by myself. It's been a while since I've laboured on myself, but uh, you need to keep your fingers in the, uh, in the pie, don't you? So, the two most important ingredients for today. Water. And some cream. We've got a mix on the go, which is just behind me. There. Still got to get used to... Uh, working this camera out we'll set up a time lapse and we'll get some corners built and I'll see you in a bit
Good afternoon. We are on working day 10 on our side extension in Longbridge. Sorry, our rear extension in Longbridge. Get that right. Um, it is half two in the afternoon. We've not been in in the morning. So what we've done is we decided we'll come in for a couple of hours and we'll get just a run from corner to corner up that way. We've done some work today. And then when we come in tomorrow, we can get other corners built up and we'll be at Lintel Height then. So I will uh, flip around, you can have a look and we'll do some bricklaying. So the goal for this afternoon will be to get this run in. So we are up to this height, which is only five courses down from Lintel Height. If we do get that up reasonably quickly, then what we'll do is we'll see if we can get some of this corner up and then we'll probably break it for the day because it'll be about half five then and then tomorrow when we come in we'll get this run up again to this height here and then we'll get it up five courses to lintel height and then we'll get the lintel on and we will be ready for a soldier course on top of the lintel and then we're just going to be a few courses off the uh, the wall plate height and then we're going to start getting some block work in as well. done for the day we've uh, got most of our block walling up that we wanted and we've got one of our uh, reveals up that the lintel is going to sit on we need to do the other one which we'll do tomorrow hopefully we'll do it tomorrow it's meant to be raining all day tomorrow typical British weather lovely so I'll flip around you can have a quick look so we've managed to get this section running this morning we've got this corner up that is our lintel height, so our lintel will sit on top of there with another three courses on top of the lintel. We didn't get around to doing this. We managed to get this block wall up here and we got this block wall up as well. So we've not done too bad today. Hopefully we'll be able to come in and do some more tomorrow and not be impeded by the rain. Good morning. We're on day 12 and we are going to be doing some more of our brick lane if the weather allows us look at that big juicy black cloud there so we are going to try and get a little bit of brick lane done before the rain hits us
it is one o'clock and it is raining so we'll uh, see how long it takes to clear up and we'll crack rain has stopped now let's crack on now the sun's back out Good morning, we're on day 13 and today we're going to be finishing off a brick and block work up to wall plate height and we're also going to be getting our free ply structural timber in as a lintel for supporting the existing roof and for our new roof to join onto. I'll flip you around and you can have a look. So this here is wall plate height, we're going to be putting a wall plate on there and then we need to put two courses of brick or a course of uh, block slips on there and we just need to bring this up. So it's three courses of block and it's not very many courses of brick. I think it's about 10. And then we have got to put our cavity tray, weep holes in there and get this up to height as well. Now Isaac is just taking these bricks out. We're gonna acro prop this wall plate here with some strong boys and then we're going to take out this soldier course all the way along we're going to take this window out we're going to build a pillar up here that way we have got an adequate bearing for our structural timber to uh, to sit on and then hopefully once we've blocked this in we will be ready to put some wall plates onto our brick onto our block work sorry and then we can think about getting the roof on. We'll set up a time lapse and you can watch. got our beam in now it wasn't too difficult to do we've built a little pillar up here which is what the building inspector wanted so we had a um, good enough bearing and we are going to put a block in there or a pad in there and then we've got our bearing on that side and then we should be able to take these acros out tomorrow um, windows come out we're going to keep this in we're going to board this window up for the customer and then uh, we have managed to get our soldier course done on above our lintel. We've got our weeps in, our cavity train there as well. Tomorrow we're going to be running the block work in on this side. And we'll get all of our wall plates up. And that way we will be able to let the roofer come in and make a start on doing the roof and then I can focus on just getting that last little bit of brick work done. Um, what we're going to have to do is leave this corner out for the time being until we strip this back. 
The reason for that is because when we come across, eventually we're going to have to run our brickwork into this. So I'll have to take this, uh, this uh, gable corner out and, and rebuild it. But uh, that will probably be something that we do next week. Anyway, we've had a good day and we're happy. We will see you all tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. We are on working day 14 of our Long Bridge extension. And today we are going to be focusing on getting our block work finished off. Got a couple to go up there. Got a little bit on this side to do. And then we can uh, put our wall plates in place because we've had the meeting this morning with the roofer, the carpenter and the uh, architect to uh, sort of hash out how we're going to be doing this roof. So now we've got that plan worked out, we can uh, finish the structure off and uh, then we'll be uh, all ready to go. We'll uh, set up a time lapse and you can watch, uh, watch Stu finish off his block work. Cheers. Time we managed to get this wall up to wall plate, we managed to get this one up to wall plate and get the wall plate on. So after lunch, we will do that. We've just got four blocks to go on there, the wall plate to go on, and then we should be able to make a start on getting the external brickwork up to heights.